What's going on YouTube? My name is Brady, otherwise known as Virus, and today I got a pretty good video for you guys today. I'm actually bringing you guys a uh, GB game um, with me and Famwood, my teammate. Well, my friend now, we're not on a team anymore, um, and that's what I'm kind of doing a conversation today to talk to you guys about. Um, but it, I thought this was a perfect video to, to uh, put in the background. Um, I don't want to make this video too long, so I'll, I'll just do some cutscenes in and out of between the rounds. But basically for you guys today, I have a GB match. Um, we're right now, as at, at this match, in point in time, we were 84th ranked on the uh, doubles ladder. Doing pretty good. I think we were, I believe, 15 and 4. So not doing too bad. Um, but today we got a pretty good video just because this match was so intense. Um, we started off really well. We actually, uh, I think we would go 1-0. Or we start 1-0 or something like that. 2-0, I don't know. I don't really remember. You can see this in the video. Um, but we got a pretty, pretty good topic for you guys today. Um... Actually got a, a lot of topics for you guys. One being um, part of the reason why I left Vision, which is the team I was on. It started off as Jinx, and then the name got changed to Vision. We got a couple sponsors, and we didn't really like the name Jinx, so we changed it to Vision Esports. And uh, the sponsors we got um, really didn't like our name, so we decided to change it. And uh, it wasn't really wasn't really necessarily the right thing for me uh, or my family. We both got a we both got the boot just because we were disagreeing with the uh, leader and how he was running things. And his reasons, reasonings as to why he booted us both were kind of uh, BS reasons, so we kind of called him out for it, and he didn't really like it. So, uh, kind of ended things pretty badly with uh, with the whole Vision team. And uh, we're currently in the process of looking for their team. We've already got a couple trials. We've already tried out for a couple more teams who are way better than, than what we were on. Um, we didn't really think that there was anything else out there besides what we were on, which is... It was at the time working for us, but I guess apparently it wasn't um, in the leader's eyes. So, uh, we got the boot. Um... It was it was uh it was it was really shocking because it came out of the middle of nowhere um, when it first happened, and we didn't really uh, we didn't really expect it. I mean, it, at first it was just me getting the boot because the fam or the because fam had like was still on the team and the leader didn't really have any issues with him, but uh, apparently he had some issues with me that I had no idea about. Um, so I got the boot and fam had kind of like he was talking to him about it and like trying to understand like the whole situation and what was happening and whatnot, and we were both just really confused on the situation. So, we were sitting there, and he, he texted our leader, and was asking what's going on, and our leader kind of flip, flipped shit on him. Um, I, I guess you could say it was for no reason, but uh, it wasn't really entirely our fault. Um, part of it was because we were trying to get our rank up on GB so we can recruit better, get better get better members on the team, and that way it wouldn't look so trashy when uh, people went to go uh, see our recruits and look at our ranks and stuff, so... We were playing a lot of doubles trying to get our ranks up because our the force team it was it was a good force team we had great communication and great chemistry and all that but we just we weren't really confident enough in um, doing fours and whatnot with the team so like I said before we decided to do uh just to do to do twos and whatnot and uh, the team leader didn't really like that which is definitely understandable I can definitely understand that um, we're we're part of a team and an organization where um, communication is key which it was and we weren't really communicating with our leaders so it's uh it's it's partially our own fault. But uh, other than that, I just kind of wanted to get touch base with you guys on that. Um, but it, it, it wasn't anything too serious. It was just kind of some reasons that we weren't communicating really well. We were doing our own, doing our own thing, which we shouldn't have been. And uh, it was kind of a shitty situation, but uh, shit happened. Um, but the other thing I want to talk to you guys about today is uh, the new Call of Duty. Um, I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos lately, and I've been trying to like get some information and see what it is. And uh, I've been watching a lot of Scarce. I don't know if you guys know who he is, but go ahead and check him out. Um on YouTube, he does a lot of, uh, YouTube, like, info and, like, drama, what's going on, he's kind of like a TMZ for YouTube, but basically he, he had a video the other day about the new COD, and, uh, he had some pretty good information, actually, he actually, um, showed that, uh, a guy, I don't know whether he was on the, on the team development, um, for the making of the new COD, but, uh, it's actually, in his video, he says that it has been confirmed from a guy who, uh, is on the actual, uh, development team that, uh, it's gonna be, goes to, it's gonna be taken into space, um, taking place in space. I don't really know how I feel about that just because um, Black Ops 3 is like a perfect game for me. I love Black Ops 3. It's a really good game. Um, I like the boost movement and stuff. I, I just don't, I don't really like the exosuits and I feel like uh, with it being in space, we're definitely going to have exosuits just because it's obviously in space and there's no gravity. So if, I really feel like it's going to be a weird, not really a weird combination. It's just going to be a weird gameplay because you're, I'm not going to be used to that, like the whole space thing. And the last time something that, that was in COD that dealt with space was uh, a zombies map. So it was, it was definitely a little weird, and uh, I'm, I'm just I'm I'm excited for the new COD just because it's Ghost 2. And I I mean I say I didn't like Ghost just because I didn't really play competitive, but um, thinking back on it, Ghost was actually a really good game. It was like the last 
it was like the last game that was legitimately boots on the ground that was really modern type uh play style and all that so like i'm really looking forward to it and uh i'm not sure how i feel about the whole thing um it's definitely going to be a new situation for me it's definitely going to be a new uh gameplay it's going to be really new for, i think for everybody because no one's known what to expect and if it really is in outer space it's going to be uh I don't know. I don't, I don't want to say it's gonna be bad, but I just I feel like it's not gonna be like that much, um, just because a lot of people that I've been watching you videos and looking on Twitter, no one really wants a uh, outer space or like exo movement and stuff. So it's gonna be kind of weird. And uh, I think for the rest of the videos, I'm gonna talk to you guys about this gameplay. Those are the two topics I really wanted to talk to you guys about, and uh, just want to give you guys updates. And that's part of the reason why I haven't really uploaded this week. I was trying to get on the regimen and post every day. Until I left for AIT for the military, so I was just trying to get on a regiment, and then all this stuff happened. So it was kind of a kind of hit me in, in like a truck. I didn't really expect it, so I was trying to find trying to find another team to compete with, and uh, just trying to get everything going and whatnot. And uh, it just really wasn't. It caught me off guard, really off guard. So, uh, but basically, as of right now, we're down two to three. Um, we're playing we're playing pretty well together. We're uh, we're trying to stick together because we we normally in the past we we split up and uh, go to different sites. And uh, I'm not gonna give anything away, but I just want I'll let you guys watch this out. He kills me right here. Um, I don't. I, he got five shots on me, so he must have shot me through something. Um, so it was it was kind of disappointment because it, it left a one v one with Fam, and he wasn't really confident. And I should have turned my notifications off, but I guess I didn't. Um, but I'll let this one play out, guys, for you, and then we'll see how it goes from there. So as you can see from there, family he, he he knew he had, the guy had to have planted B just because there was no much not much time. There's no way he could have wrapped all the way through their spawn to A, and he was watching that a uh, the crossover to make sure no one went over. So he knew no one was over this. That's why he was sitting on B stairs, and he slid in. And he shot on accident, um, so he just kept shooting as soon as he shot the first shot, hoping he'd peek out. And uh, he knows what he did wrong. He what he did wrong was he slid in. He should have just stayed there because he knew that guy was gonna peek him. So at this point we're down 2-4. We're we're getting really worried because we had this we had this this game on lock. We were up 2-1, and we were, we had a lot of confidence going into that into the second to last round. So we go into this round. We're trying to push mid because we need to get mid control. I don't see this guy, and Famwood ends up taking this guy out. Or no, he doesn't. He gets a uh, 2v1, and the, at this point we're both kind of giving up. We're both sitting there. We're in the party, thinking, oh shit, oh shit, man. We need to get this sub. We need to get this this win really bad. And uh, we're kind of just like, like right now we're contemplating on what we should do because these guys have mid locked down pretty well, and uh, we're not really mid players. We like we tend to stick on the outside of the map together, and we like to stick together. It's like to like we like to stick together because if if it comes to a two v one situation, if one of us gets killed, we like to have the other person there as backup so he can get the trade. So at this point, we decide that Fam's just gonna sit and watch mid cut, see if they cross over to A. I'm just gonna camp and watch uh, B Street and Top Rock. Um, so I'm just sitting here. It's kind of boring because like, we're just sitting. We're trying to play it slow because these guys like to, these guys like to play it fast. So we're trying to outsmart them, and we're trying to get all all our stuff together. We're trying to make sure that we know what they're playing, and we know they're playing mid for sure because I haven't seen them at this point at B Street, and we know for sure that they're playing mid. So I, I push up, and I, I try to stop walling, and I can't. And I see this guy right here. I get the kill, and I peek it, and I got one shot on him, and the fam gets the kill. So right now we're just kind of deciding who gets bombed. So we get to the fuse, and uh, that's the end of this round. All right, guys. So at this point, it's 3-5. Um, in our minds, we're we're getting we're getting pretty hyped. We're getting, we're like we're getting this comeback and whatnot, and we're we're just trying to get get ourselves hyped for this. I uh, our plan here was um, he always this guy always flashes uh, B Street, but he didn't this time, so we knew they they didn't go B. So what I decided to do is I decided to. Uh, so what I decided to do is I peeked B Street. I came up and I pushed up, and I didn't see anything. I pushed through the spawn. And uh, I didn't see anything in their spawn, so we, we thought right away that we should get bomb <clears throat> We thought right away we get, we should get bombed down. I saw the guy with the dart, and this is actually pretty funny. I I, uh, I stabbed the guy. Well, I I knife him in the back, whatever you want to call. It. I punched him, and he brings the he actually brings the dart in, and his teammate jumps up at the last second, and he hits his teammate, and we win. Um, either way, I would have gotten that kill. His teammate definitely wasn't ready. He didn't he didn't expect me to be there, so uh, it was pretty funny. I got the kill here, and uh, this is this is what clinched the fourth. Uh, us getting our, our fourth win. So in this round, we knew we had the win just because we were defending, and we're pretty good at defending. So we decided to do the same thing where he watches mid cut and I watch over B Street. And at this at this time, I uh, actually just sit here for a while, and we kind of wait for them to plant, I, I believe. So I'm just sitting here, 
keep my eyes on Top Rock. Make sure he doesn't peek at the last second. And family's watching mid cut. Make sure they don't cross over. And I think at this point we're kind of we're both quiet right now. We're both just trying to like like see what's going on. We're trying to get a feel for what they're doing. And we know they have mid map control, so we're just trying to stay on the outskirts of it. And he doesn't want to peek it at all, so that's why he's just sitting there. And uh, at this point I switched my VMP just because I figured that like the last round uh, that we were defending the guy pushed me. Um, so I was just contemplating on whether or not I should push. And uh, family told me just to stay there. So they got a lightning strike right here, so I pushed back because I knew he pinged it, and I knew he I knew he saw where we were. So if would push back in the top uh, church, I would push back right here because I knew I knew they weren't going to get me because I knew he didn't expect me to do that. So at this point, I, I push in church. I go top church just to scout it out, see what's going on. And uh, I see the guy right here, and uh, I peek him one more time. I thought I had that kill really for sure. I peek it, and he somehow got me. He, this is actually a really good snipe on his play. He peeked it, then couldn't get the kill. Peeked it again, and he barely saw me and got it. And the uh, family came in really clutch here. He saw this guy. He hid behind this corner. Tried getting a couple shots on him. He switched his VMP, rushed him. And then it goes from here. He waved him and got the defuse. That was actually a really smart play by him. I was really nervous because I was I was not sure if he was going to get the guy that was middle. Because we knew there was one guy middle. We knew there was one guy who planted it. He got the guy planting it while I was watching the kill cam. And then he uh, rushed the guy who was uh, out middle. So at this point, it's 5-5. Five, five. We have the, the kills are tied up. But, uh... We had less deaths, or not less deaths, we had less plants, so we got the defending side, and we had uh, we won last round with the most kills, so um, it was actually pretty nice. Um, this one, we, we decided to play it really so. We decided to do the same thing we've been doing, and I pushed up because he said they stunned him, so I was just kind of making sure that no one got to him. So I pushed back real quick, just to make sure they weren't there, and uh, it get, this is just history right here. Um, Famine was sitting tank, and we pretty much stay here for a while. Uh, I think we stay here for like 10 or 15 more seconds, maybe even 20 and we're just sitting here playing it really slow because we knew what they were planning on doing. And at this point, this guy keeps inviting me to a party. And I'm just getting really pissed off. And I'm not I'm not really thinking about the game right now. And I couldn't see my mini-map, so I was freaking out. And basically, family decides to push over to A just to see, make sure they didn't go to A. Because he couldn't, he wasn't sure if he saw him cross over or not. And I told him I'd stay, uh, stay B Street. And uh, they actually plan it right after I look here. Family actually dies right about now. And so at this point, we're both sitting there saying, shit. Um, I'm, I'm in the I'm in the wrong spot. I don't need to be here. So I pop my uh, connect, or not my kinetic armor. My bad. I pop my uh, uh, I completely forgot what that's called. My bad. <laughs> but anyways, I pop it and uh, I see both of them here. I knew they're both here. So I, I kill him and he waved and the bomb blocked it and I got both double kill and we ended up winning the game. Um, it was pretty nice because this pushed us up to I believe like we were like 49th after this. And it was a really good game and I'm I'm so happy we came back and won that because we were playing like shit. For a couple rounds and we just we started going to shit so it was it was definitely a really good comeback and it's one of the most amazing comebacks i've ever been in and ever seen i mean besides the besides the whole rise nation versus optic uh for the two hundred fifty thousand dollar tournament which is as we all know was on the same map round 11 same situation and it was really cool um, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. If you guys could leave a like, that would be much appreciated. Comment down below what you guys liked about this video and give it a thumbs up. And as always, guys, I will see you. Love your faces later. Peace.